and you go crazy. Hey, DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. What's good? Y'all already know your girl, Sasha. Sasha, go hard. What you want, gang? Um, all my pretty girls get money. Shit, like, no, nah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm happy to be here. So, I'm on whatever y'all on. Well, we definitely uh blessed to have you here. Welcome to DJ UTV. For We've sure. been seeing you all over the place lately, so uh, it's definitely an honor to have you on our couch. Yes. Uh, when we talk about like Chicago music, Chicago rap, Chicago drill, however you word it, you got to mention Sasha Go Hard, Period. especially uh, in regards to the ladies, you know? Exactly. And, and you've been around since the start. Yes. So we definitely want to shed light on you tonight. Uh, tell us what side of Chicago you from. So I'm from the south side of Chicago, the low end to be exact. Um, my Both of my grandmothers... Uh, on my mom and dad's side, they stayed on the low end. One of them stayed on 41st and Langley, 40th and Langley, and the other one stayed like 41st and Perry. So we all low end babies. Um, yeah, from the south side of Chicago. Word. Tell us what it was like for you growing up on the low end. Um, you know what? Uh, my mom, she, she was like on us. Like she didn't let like her kids, like go to too many houses and like do whatever we wanted to do so me and my siblings was real close um yeah like it was it was like pretty cool like family i grew up close to all my family like i'm a family person um it was really cool i ain't see too much bad stuff happening like i i, I was the baby of the group so you know i was a lot of stuff wasn't even in my face like you know so it was cool. It was cool growing up. The baby, I had many. How many siblings did you have? So when I was the baby, I had two sisters and a brother. But now my little brother um, is here. So it's him, then it's me, and then it's two sisters and a brother. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so it's what, five of us. So what was the advantages, though, that you had being the baby girl? I, I I was safe from a lot of stuff. <laughs> like, say for instance, like I remember this time, I was in daycare and my cousin who passed, him and my sister, they had all uh, went to my uh, Auntie Easter house and they started like this big old watermelon fight, like in the back, you know, like um, in some houses, like they build a back, uh, it's like a back that porch, is. but they build a tent thing around what? it. So they got to having a watermelon fight. <laughs> and so I just remember, I remember that because I got picked up from daycare and I felt the tension, like as a kid, like I knew some was, somebody was in trouble. Like I knew it wasn't me. And so, shit, when I got to my Auntie Easter house with everybody, like everybody crying and you know, they in trouble. So I, I kind of like got away with a lot of stuff. Like I was the baby, I got babied a lot. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. So when did you uh, take interest in music? Like, you know, when did you start rapping? Who influenced you to get in the booth? So I grew up around music. Like my um, brother, my old, oldest brother and sister, they always like played music. Like Missy Elliott, Aaliyah, um, TLC. Like it was just music always around me. Like even when I was a kid. So... <clears throat> As I keep, I mean, as I kept growing, I started doing a bunch of stuff. Like I used to do hair. I used to work on computers. I know how to draw. Like I was just that kid that did everything. So one day, um, I saw Chief Keith on MySpace, and I'm like, I wanna, I wanna do that. Like I wanna put uh, or make a song. You know, like I just did not know how to put it on YouTube and do all that. So I reached out to him, like, you know, like, how do, how do I go by putting songs on um, YouTube and everything? And then that's when he introduced me to DJ Ken, the studio that he was going to, that studio all of them was going to. And I just, like, started doing it as I added it on to what I've been doing anyway. 
and just like got serious with it. Like it was fun. It's, it's still fun, but you know, like it, it was just something fun to do. Yeah. Then I started getting paid, and then it just kept going from there. Yeah. And speaking of Chief Keith, DJ Ken, those are the very early days of the drill yes, era. For sure. And you were there. Yes. Uh, take us back to that moment in time, the excitement um, and, and things of that sort, right? Yeah. So, I mean, when I first started being around him, I already knew, like, Chief Keith. Like, I knew him from around the way. And uh, cause he was popular, like even before the music, uh, you know, really took off, like he was known. And so when I started going around him, and like it was all, it was all love. Like imagine like one girl, most of the time, time being around all these guys, like nobody trying to hit on me, like it ain't no weird activity or none of that. Like it was just cool, like it was like a family thing. So mm -hmm. it was easy to be around them to make music. Um, it was very exciting, and actually, actually, Chief Keith, um, we was working on a song, and I remember he told me like he wanted to hear my verse, so I'm like going hard, hard, hard all the time, and he like, like you know, like now nah, don't say it that way, like do it this way or be more calmer, and he actually like put that in my mind to make me like change the way I made music and stuff. Like I stopped like trying to rap hard and be on all that gangster stuff, so. He, he's definitely a uh, part of the reason, like, why I branched off from the drill. Right. Yeah. Uh, I heard you say Go Hard, and we know you asked Sasha Go Hard. Tell us where you got the name from. So, Sasha, my uncle started calling me Sasha around the time, like, Beyonce came out with Sasha Fierce. <clears throat> it was just, like, everything about me, like, my attitude, how I dress, how I talk, everything about me. So, he started calling me that. And then... I guess like when I first started rapping that the way that I was going hard, like, you know, I remember when I was in the, the first time I was in the studio, um, it was Chief Keith, Fredo, um, <clears throat> SD, it was like uh, everybody in the studio. Then when I recorded, I just remember hearing everybody like, go hard, go hard, go hard. And I'm like, this is gonna be like, I'm, I'm officially putting that on my name, like Sasha Go Hard. Right. Yeah. So, so were you like an official glory girl at that time? Yes, I was the first, like, <laughs> I was the <laughs> only, I think I was the only gl uh, glory girl. Like, it weren't really too many girls, like, other than like the, the hoes they had pulling up on them. Like, it weren't really too many girls in the studio, like, far as like coming to work. I was the only girl. And yeah, I had got it tattooed on me and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of tattoos, you had the record. It was uh, some some about tatted like a biker boy, correct? <laughs> yeah. And that was one of, that was one of the uh, biggest records, you know, in Chicago at that time. Yeah. Uh, definitely one of your premier records. Can you take us back and tell us the concept behind that? Yes. Um, big shout out to D Gaines. Like he was behind the uh, concept, the vision. He had the vision for it. Uh, he produced the beat um, too. So I made the song and then he just, you know, once he heard it, he like, man, we need some people with tattoos. Like it was just raw as hell. Like he just, he a genius. Like he, uh, he raw for real. So, I mean, he just put it together and I just came through mm -hmm. with it. And from then until now, which has been roughly a whole decade, right? Cause mm -hmm. what we talking about right now was 2012, you know? Uh, yeah. Tell us some challenges that you face in the, in the industry. So a lot of challenges I face, like like a like a normal pretty girl, like just it was a lot of niggas like coming on to me or like just just trying to work with me but still mess with me at the same time. Like that was a big thing. Like can you imagine like you being serious about something and these guys just basically on some, you know, we got, you got to, and it's, it's like pressure with me because I'm a sweet person. Like I'm, I'm really a sweet person. Like I, people like for someone not to know me, they'll, they'll look at me like, oh, she's friendly or she's like easy to, you know, to snatch up. But now like I'm, I'm just a sweet person, but I'm, 
my man is there. Like, I'm not stupid or none of that, you yeah. know. But just dealing with that, like, having to run across people, like, trying to hit on me and stuff like that, that probably was the only only challenge that I ever had to deal with. But I'm so glad that I got out of that. And yeah. I still go through that stuff today. Like, it's just, I, I taught myself that it's going to, happen regardless like i'm not gonna get ugly like niggas like me everybody loves sasha yeah <laughs> i know that is that that part is a big challenge for a lot of women in the yes. male dominated industry yes um so how do you stray away from like men that have ulterior motives versus like being able to decipher who's really you know genuine yeah um with me you could you could feel it like uh I feed off uh, spirits, like, so I know when someone is genuine. And even when I feel like that, I I know that someone is genuine. Like, cause somebody could come around me today and just don't be on no type of extra stuff with me. And I'll be like, he cool, like, he, he cool, he ain't no nothing with me, but it's always gonna be like that, that like niggas can't control themselves. You know, like, but I just, I be ignoring people like I'm so strong mentally in the uh, in the music industry now like that. I got it in my man like man look if you on that I'm gonna keep going like I I get in the door somehow like but I'm not getting in the door by having sex or doing nothing with a nigga like just to put me on or help me get that type stuff. Mm -hmm. So I just ignore him, keep going, keep it moving. Right. Now in the midst of your of your rap career, you have became a mother. Yes. Can you tell us how uh, motherhood has affected your career? So I don't feel like that motherhood affected my career. Other people might feel like that, but that's them. Um, my daughter, a blessing. The best thing that ever happened to me. Like, I can't picture life without her. Like, for real. Um, <clears throat> I was just telling my friend, like, even when I got pregnant, I was still performing. Like, still performing, still making music. Before I had her, after I had her. And, and time on, like, I just, I don't feel like that it affected my career because I never stopped. Like, I've been consistent for damn near 11 years. Like, I haven't worked a job in 11 years. I haven't, like, music is, like, in my blood now. Like, it's, like, my heart. So right. it's just there. Yeah. And nothing could stop me but me. Like, that's, that's really how my man set up, like, Nothing literally can get in my way but me. I'm the only person that could, you know, um, get in the way from my success. For sure. Right. You know, last year, um, it was a lot of talk about uh, the queen of Chicago. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, you know, we don't have that many young ladies representing us in hip hop, but we got several. Uh, Sasha Go Hard, Katie Got Bands, Queen Key, Tink Dreezy. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your thoughts on the whole topic of Queen of Chicago? Um, I really didn't like when the girls was like, no, I'm the queen, I'm the queen, I'm the queen, nah, I'm the queen. Like, we don't have to do that. Like, we all, like, for one, we all queens. You feel me? Like, it's no, like, first lady of Chicago. Ain't nobody leading the pack. Everybody's strong doing their own thing type stuff, you know, like, but if we talking about Queen of Drill, I always, and I say this, like, on interviews or anything, like Katie, like Katie because she started making that drill music and that's been, like, her type of, like, lane, like, she never changed, like, the type of music she make, you know, like, it's just, like, that's what she's known for, a dr like, drilling. So, yeah, like, I mean, when we, when we say queen of drill, I will get that to Katie. Like, everybody, anybody who real gonna say that's Katie. Like, nobody else started and still, like, after all these years, like, still making that type of music. Even though, like, she did the song with Nicki Minaj, like, you know, like, but she's still, like, a drill artist. But, like, far as, like, the queen of Chicago, I, I, I don't even like feeding into that shit. <laughs> like for real, like I'm not finna argue or get into it with nobody over no damn title. Like everybody entitled to feel how they wanna feel. You know, say what you wanna say about yourself. 
But far as like arguing with people, like no, you finna give me this title. I'm the queen of Chicago. Like that shit lame. High school. Yeah. Well, how do you feel about yourself, your brand, your rap name mm -hmm. amongst the ladies of Chicago? Um. <clears throat> what credit do you give yourself? Is what I'm asking. Man, like Sasha, go hard, consistent, been consistent, been doing my thing no matter what, like stood 10 toes, like through all the bullshit, like for real, like, I mean, I'm just, I'm just me. I'm, I'm, I don't try to be nothing else, like other than myself. Like I'm a good person. Uh, I'm a happy person. I don't do drama, none of that shit. Like I'm not gonna be arguing with nobody if it ain't about no money. Like that shit is irrelevant to me. Like I'm just a, I'm, I'm, I'm a good spirit. Like I have a good bubble around me. Not, not saying that the other girls don't. I don't even pay attention to them enough, or I don't have time to even to worry about what the other girls, what they got going on. But like when it comes down to positivity, like getting money, like let's let's link up, let's do what we got to do, like because it's possible. So. Right. Now we've um, heard you on quite a few soundtracks lately, uh, on HBO, Southside Joint. Yeah. Uh, they say you on the Insecure soundtrack as well. Yes. Okay. And, and, and you've been working with Showtime and the Shot. Yes. Okay. Well, catch us. T tell us what's been going on. So the Insecure um, soundtrack uh, it came out a few years ago. It was the Golden Pussy song that they um, had used. Like I made the song, they hit me up, you know, said they need a song, you know, and then I sent it to them, then they got it. So that the Southside um, song is my theme song. Like, uh, well, my song is the theme song for the show, right. Southside. That's on HBO Max. Make sure y'all go watch it. Yeah, I um, I just filmed for the Shy, so y'all catch. Me on the shot, acting. Huh, don't play with me. Okay. Congrats <laughs> on that. Yes. So, so you're going into the big screen roles? Yeah, I mean, but you know, like, I, I, I've been doing a lot of stuff. Like, I don't, I don't understand, and it's not no complaint or none of that. Like, I don't know how people don't be knowing type certain stuff. Like, I don't know what it is that I need to do, or I don't know. But I've been doing a lot of stuff. Like, I'm. Chirac with Spike Lee. And you know what's funny? I never had the audition. They never made me audition for nothing. I didn't know I was, if I was a bad rapper, I mean, a bad actor. Hmm. <laughs> but, I mean, the, they knew the, they wanted Sasha to go hard on that. Exactly. They didn't even care. And it's because, like, they see and feel that, oh, she's talented. She's a good person. She, she's going to deliver all that matter. So, so we're going to see you acting on the new season of The Shy? Yes. Tell us how that opportunity came about. I mean, I'm an independent artist. Like, I handle all my shit. Like, I ain't never saying the deal. I just be having to say that because, like, it's not even, it, it's really because to myself. Like, I be having to remind myself that, look, you the shit. Like, you, you killing shit. Like, without a deal. Like, without having to screw these niggas. Like, you know, like, this is, this is stuff that I say. And people might take it like that. Um being cocky or whatever. But no, like, this is me just reminding myself that I'm a shit. But um, the shy, they just hit me up. Like, Sasha, like, you know, we need you for this, for, for the shy. Like, are you available these days? And it just went on from there. And it, they made it happen. Now, most recently, we seen you at the uh, Future and Friends concert. Yes. You had the opportunity to perform. Yes. Um, but you went viral being backstage <laughs> taking pictures. Uh, the, 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 the ESTG moment where yes. he kind of snubbed you. Uh, yeah, he, tried, you know. he tried to trim me. Yeah, for a picture. Uh, take, us, take us back to that night. You know, Tell us the whole night. We want to know about every picture you took. Because you know you went viral for another picture. Yeah, right, <laughs> the so. picture with Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> so, long story short, um, just to be able to have the opportunity to perform like on the same stage, on the same concert with Future, like at the United, the United Center. I mean, even being able to perform anyway, like I never performed at 
the um, at the United Center. Like I had my for Big Jam, they had me on the cipher on the TV, but mm -hmm. it was just like an amazing opportunity. So my homie Chella, you know, she Chella been with me from the jump. She already know, like man, look, these people, they they some of them know you and some of them finna know you. Like that was her whole mindset or whatever. So the whole, you know, <clears throat> she's just she's just putting people in tune with me, you know, like like uh this Sasha go hard. Even before the pictures, like, you know, we was chopping it up. Like some people we was chopping it up with. And everybody was cool. Like everybody was super cool. Some people knew me, some people didn't. So, um, ESTG, he was, before that uh, incident happened, he was like already on the side, like literally on the side of us, like for a few minutes talking to somebody else. He walked off from them, uh, he walked directly towards us. Like, you know, like, so that, that kind of gave us the impression that like, oh, he cool, you know, like, I swear to God, I didn't even know that he was him. Like, for real. I know his name, ESTG. But I didn't know that that was him. I don't know. Like, I just didn't know. And, you know, he stopped and Chella, you know, Chella trying to put us in tune and shit. Like, and, and uh, he just said, who? 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 And it happened so fast, like I literally was not even paying attention. I was like, I was in that moment, but I wasn't even paying attention. Like I'm on the phone before before that happened. I'm on the phone with Key Queen Key, trying to uh, see where she at. Like that was my my focus. Like I wasn't even focused on what was in front of me. Right. And so he did. You know, he said what he said. Chella said what he. Chella said what she said and shit like that. Hold on, let's saw. go back to what was said. <laughs> ESTG said, what did he say? Who? <coughs> <laughs> <Who? laughs> and I was just like... Cause and then Chella A said, hold on, nigga. Don't forget you in Chicago. Why you, why you, goddamn it, trying to diss my homie? Because it was like, bro, <laughs> that shit ain't even that serious. Like, even if you ain't know who I was, like... Why you gotta, I don't understand like why artists be like that, but yeah. I don't try to figure it out. Like, I be like, whatever. And I, I kept telling Chella, even after that, like, cause she was serious. Like, she felt like really disrespected mm -hmm. and shit. And I'm telling her like, so that nigga like that. Like, cause I don't really be caring about nothing. Like, I don't even be caring about shit like that. I'm telling her like, forget it. Like, let it go. Like, don't let it blow you. We here, we on the same stage this nigga finna be on. Like, that's don't even matter. She ain't let it go. Yeah. <laughs> and then he came back outside a few minutes after that. I don't know if somebody told him who he was or what, but the energy was totally different when he came back. Yeah. Totally different. Yeah. Like somebody put a bug in his ear. Cause y'all. So did y'all eventually take a picture? Yes, we did take a picture. Okay. The picture is the person who took the picture. I can't um, get in contact with him. But we definitely took a picture. Like oh, wow. So y'all took the picture, but you ain't got it. I ain't got the picture. Damn. I can't believe I don't have the picture, though. Like, because even when a video here came out, just seeing, like, because, of course, it went viral on everything. Facebook, mm -hmm. Instagram, mm -hmm. everything. For sure. And people, like, you know, like, all these trolls, like, they were saying so much shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, bro, I wish I had this picture to, like, shut them up. Because yeah. they were just seeing a lot of stuff, making it seem like I'm a groupie and, like, I'm a nobody and all that. And I'm like, bro, I can shut everybody up right now, but I don't even can. I got to start caring, though. Like, I got to start really, like, shutting people up. But I don't be, I don't be having time for that, G. Well, I mean... It's definitely gonna be a lot of trolls for sure. In whatever you do, right? In this yeah. industry. I was seeing the trolls in your comments, you know. It's, uh Yeah. Especially after you released the uh No Be Now <laughs> ESTG Ball Forever remix. Yes. I, I I saw them in your comments. Yes. Uh but tell us the concept behind that record. You was like, man, let me capitalize off this. So my homie Henry, I just told him like, bro. 
like, because he saw it too. And I'm like, bro, like, I'm finna remix one of his, one of his songs, like, off his beat. I never said it was going to be a diss. I ain't never said nothing. I just said I'm finna, uh, I need a cover for the remix that I'm finna do off one of his songs. And then he just sent the cover. It was fire. Like, and then <clears throat> my whole purpose of the song was to, like, kind of pinpoint a lot of stuff that people don't know or didn't know about Sasha Go Hard and just like to really like pop my like I'm I'm still like unstoppable like no matter like what nobody's seeing you know mm -hmm. yeah so tell us some uh future goals and aspirations for Sasha Go Hard future goals um I've been doing this um in the past few years like not really a lot, but I'm trying to, like, get consistent with it. Like, I'm putting on a bunch of shows, like, but it's not, like, regular promoter. Like, it's, like, I'm the type of person, as I go up, I want to pull people up with me. You know, like, and I feel like that I have to, like, take action to do what I can to help them. Like, and just seeing how um, it affects people when I do have shows and people just be so... Like, these artists be so happy because they look at someone like me like, like, damn, like, you would never expect for me to have the heart and the hand to just reach out, like, come on, I got you. Like, even if I don't know you, if, you want, if you're doing what I'm doing or, or doing something to come up, like, like you said, like, what we doing in our industry, like, bro, this ain't easy doing it by yourself. And people be shady. Like, people be shady, they be all to they self, you know, like, but, I don't know, I just got a different heart. Like, God gave me a different heart. So, I want to continue to put on these shows, put on these uh, fashion shows for kids. Like, I had a, fa a fashion show was a major success, like, just seeing all these kids happy and just seeing the parents, like, just thanking me, like, we need more of this, like, please don't stop, you know, like, I really want to get into that more, like, so, yeah, that's... Those are like my main two goals in as far as music. But you know, like as far as making music, this is it's in my it's in me. Like if I'm not making music, I get depressed. So it's just I wanna continue to be to get more creative, like be continue to be consistent, do what makes me happy and just don't let nothing get in my way. For the young ladies that's coming up in this same industry. Uh, what type of advice could you give to them? Like, um, if you could talk to yourself 10, 11 years ago, what would you tell yourself? What would I have told myself? But, I mean, just just stay focused. Stay like, focused. keep going. Stay focused on your goal. Like, don't, don't get distracted. Keep people around you that support you, that love you, that's genuine. Like, that's so important. Like, it's so important. You got to be strong. If you're a female trying to be an artist, you have to be very strong. Like, you have to be very strong mentally, emotionally, physically, all that shit. Like, because people take advantage of women. Like, people look at us like we soft. Regard Even the hardest females, like, they're going to look at you like you soft because you're a woman. Like, you got you to just push through and don't let nobody stop you. Like, don't let nothing get in, get in your way. For real. So tell us what you got coming up next, Sasha Go Hard. What can we expect from you? So I'm working on my new EP that's dropping this spring. I'm so excited for that. Like, everybody going to love it. Like, all my real supporters, like, y'all going to love it for sure. So I'm just working on new music. Um... Yeah, just 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 getting my business together and pushing through. Well, once again, uh, when we when we talk about Sasha Go Hard, this is one of the staples in Chicago. Uh, Cause I forgot to mention the fact that you perform for the Chicago Sky. Yes. You know, so it's stuff like that. Like you know what I'm saying? The WNBA teams, yeah. the Showtime the shows. The Bulls, like they just play my song at the Bulls game. Word. Like. Last year, I mean, last month, I think, like, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and with the Chicago Sky, um, my homie Nate, um, he just reached out to me because he worked with uh, Chicago Sky, and they was just looking for um, 
just a dope artist to perform, and it, it's it's not like just no regular shit. It's Chicago ska, so they want it can't be ratchet. It can't be. It, it has to make sense. And he had thought about me. Shout out to him, and he had put that in play. And he and, and one of the things that uh, stood out to me, he told me because of your character, I thought about you. Like he like I just I just feel like that man. Like you you a good person. That be mattering. Like you can't be out here like being being cocky, being arrogant and shit. Like you know you mm -hmm. you could know that truth without acting like it. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, that, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> make perfect sense. Yeah, like humility is important. Yeah, for sure, man. Cause people people could be evil, and one thing about me, I'm never gonna look at people like they below me. I don't play that. Mm -hmm. My my friends and family, they get mad at me. Because I be like, it's not about me. Like, my dad and, and my uh, homie Rudy, they be so serious. Like, and I be like, man, like, it ain't about me. Like, people be wanting to, wanting to protect me, and I understand that. You know, like, it makes sense, especially about me being a woman. But I'm like, man, it's about all of us. Like, it's about all of us. I don't play that. We all important. We all. I'm. I'm. I'm just a human being that 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 make music. Mm -hmm. You know. That's what's up. Any shout outs you'd like to give? <clears throat> First, I want to shout out to God for giving me strength, for giving me peace, for putting the right people. I'm so silly. Not, nah, but for real. I'm so for looking like what she's doing. <laughs> for putting the right people in my <laughs> life, man. Like shout out to my baby. I love you. You keep me going, you already know that. Shout out to all my genuine supporters. Like, I love y'all, I appreciate y'all. We ride Sasha Soldiers. Shout out to my family and my friends. I feel like I'm at the awards. One day I'll be there. Shout out to y'all, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, Sasha Go Hard. We appreciate you sliding on us tonight. It's been long overdue, but yes. it's perfect time. We here. So we appreciate it. Uh, Sasha Go Hard, DJ UTV, and shout out to Word Productions. Yes, let's get it. DJ, you go crazy.